Hello, Professor Candido here, and we'll be working with Chapter 4 topics. I'd like to show you an outline of what we'll be covering. We'll be working with the redirection symbols, which you know these, and I'm going to introduce you to two new ones today. And the touch, that will be in one unit. Then we'll do copy, then we'll do move, we'll do rm and rmdir, and then we'll do, actually we're going to have find be its own, cat, paste, cut, and sort will be in its own video. So let's come right over here. So I'm going to do an ls-l and we're going to look at what's in our directory or my directory. And I'm going to do history, which is a command, and it will show me all the commands I've, I have run. And you've noticed the output goes to the screen. If I do history redirect hist.txt, it creates a text file that captures this output and puts it into this file. Let's go take a look. And you can see I now have a file called hist.txt. I can also run another command, cal-3, for the current year I am, and I'm going to redirect with appending, and I'm going to add that to the bottom of this file. And what command allows me to look at the bottom of file? We learned it in chapter 2, and it's tail. And we're going to go take a look, and we should see, and I'm going to do the last 18 lines of that file, Ooh, that 48, 18. And you can clearly see the history commands here. And we also have, um, I'm sorry, the command goes from here. So I see the last part of the history dot text. And then you can see where I added the calendar dash three goes here. If I do this with nothing in front of the redirection symbol, that will actually clear it while clear out and wipe out the contents of the cat uh, history.txt file. If you take a look, notice history went down to zero. I'd like to introduce you to another command called touch. Touch does two things. Touch can update the timestamp of an existing file. So I'm going to go to this directory called desktop. It already exists, and you'll notice that the timestamp will have changed from October 15th at 11 o'clock to be October 16th at uh, 5.09. And I can also do touch star and it will update the timestamp of all files. This can be very handy to force things to be backed up at night because backups look at the last change of things that have uh, things that changed during the day get put to the backup tape. Could touch can also create an empty file. Look what I can do here. I can say touch number one txt. You can clearly see there's no file there called um, one.txt. And I'm going to do an ls-l and look, there's one.txt. It's empty, so a touch with a file that does not exist creates an empty file. Touch on something that does exist updates the timestamp. You can also create a file like this. And you can go into VI. Insert. Escape colon WQ, write and quit. And now I should have three text files. One by doing the touch, one.txt, the greater than two.txt, NVI, three.txt, and I write and quit. Let's go see if that works. And that did work.